When we're in early fall, we have those warm days, but you have cold mornings and cold evenings. I'm always looking for something that I can throw on to go out hunting or maybe even working where it's not going to cause me to sweat during the day. But at the same point in time, when I need the heat later, or if I'm sweating and it gets a little cooler, I need some heat, I can turn it on. This DeWalt hoodie is something for hunting that has really worked well for me this season. It has its nuances, but I have a little trick in store to kind of help you through this. First, I just want to go through this heated hoodie. It's a zip up hoodie per se. And on the inside here, you have a, a button for the heat. You just push and hold that guy. And once you hold it for a second, it comes on, you have red. And if you push again, it will move down to white. Then you push, it'll go down to blue, push again back up to red. So you have three different settings for heat on this guy. We're gonna go through the heat zones, put a thermal camera on that, show you where they are and how hot they get fairly quick. Then you push and hold, you'll turn it off. Now you have two places to put the battery on this, and this is where my trick kind of comes in. When I'm in a tree stand or I'm sitting down in a chair, the normal battery placement is going to be right back here in this compartment. That's normal per se for where most heated jackets go. Now on this jacket, it's they have a little place in the inside where you can put this battery. Now this is a 20 volt battery and with its adapter it's quite large. Now you can run any 20 volt battery or a flex volt battery if you really wanted to get serious about this and it comes with a 2 amp hour in the kit. So you could put a 3 amp hour, 4 amp hour, it's going to be a little wider and it, it's, it's still big. So the cool part about this is if you are in the Milwaukee system, while Milwaukee does make a heated jacket, it's a little bit warmer than this. And I tend not to move over to that Milwaukee heated jacket until a little later in the season. So you take this extension and you can plug it in and I still keep it in the same place up front. But talk about changing this hoodie night and day. It is just insane because it changes everything. And that's the first time I've ever had issue with that zipper and it's because I don't have the zipper down. So it changes this night and day and it still works just as it would before. Here it's red, push again, white. So I, c I have a three amp hour M12 in here now and you can see the difference in the size, it's just, a hundred times more comfortable for me than having this large battery. Runtime is actually going to be very, very close to the same. Heat cycle, everything that happens is very close to the same. It's just much smaller. It's just a different size. And that to me makes this perfect. So you have to unfortunately be in the Milwaukee M12 system to do so. For me, it works wonderful. And what I like about this, it's quiet. I can move around, I can do things. It's nice and quiet and you'll see I have these hand straps on. I keep looking at them. I also, underneath this, wear a Origin Terralock layer and that allows me to keep my scent in close to my body. That, that's an alpha layer and if you're not familiar with Origin, look them up. Um, Jocko Willink and everything is kind of in on that. This is all made in the USA stuff. So it's nicely made, fits nice in, like I said, alpha layer which I do have a t-shirt on underneath it now, which makes it a little more bulky, but at the same point, this keeps that scent in and allows me to do things, and it's goofy. It has this hood. I love this part because when I'm in a tree stand, I can throw this up I throw my hat over top of this and it's pretty slick. If you're interested, you can check out our Instagram and stuff. We have pictures of that up there. And then if you didn't want this up front, you just push it to the back when you uh, put this on. There's enough room, you don't even feel it in the back. Enough about this origin stuff, but I'll put a link down there. Made in the USA, love that stuff. Let's come in and take a better look at this hoodie. So we have the hoodie open. One thing that you, either really like about this or don't is that there is a very soft sort of felt lining to the sleeves and it's absolutely amazing if you are just putting your arm in there. If you are putting something like this in, it's nice that they have these that come right around and hold this forward because it tends to stick a little bit. Not that it's a huge deal, but you could get frustrated if you didn't have 
something holding your sleeves forward because you'd have to hold them and put them in. But if you are wearing a t-shirt, like many should be with a heated jacket, and you're not long sleeve, this is absolutely amazing. Very warm, very comfortable. The rest of this on the inside is also very soft. And if you wanted to zip it open on the bottom to look at anything, there is a zipper around here. You can access the inside panels, get at the heated system that's in here and see it, and also move wires around. Very slick the way that they designed this and allowed you to get inside and do different things, put different items in here. If you wanted to put some sort of backrest here, you could put some padding. That to me is an amazing option but there's a lot to it that can be used. As far as inside pockets, you have an inside pocket on this side. You have places to run wires in for earphones. I don't think anyone does that anymore, but if you want to run a charger out to your phone or anything like that, this pocket here is just a simple liner, not a huge deal. I don't find that we have a lot of issues here with pockets. This is a simple hoodie pocket that does not go all the way through. And then you have another pocket, which I would call basically your kidney pocket, which would be for the battery. And inside here is just most of the room for the battery. And then this extension that's going to take another cable around to the front of the jacket. The hood and everything here, pretty straightforward. Nice big ties. These are not coming apart anytime soon. I like that fact. The camo on here is a real tree camo, real tree, I believe, extra. To me, the camo is camo. I can get by with just about anything. And with that said, when you turn this guy on, that's when everything starts to heat up. So let's get this guy running. We're gonna actually even do this with the M12 and get out our thermal imaging camera and we'll show you the heat pads, which are here, here, and over here. So I pulled the jacket slightly forward and you can see our small heating pad on what would be the left. It would actually be your right hand side if you were wearing it. And then we have a larger heating pad in the center. That gets fairly warm pretty quick. It's saying about 121 degrees at its highest point. And then we have another one which is not at a good angle to see, but it is going to match the same that you would have on that pocket side. Really nice way of heating up quick. Now this is again with the Milwaukee battery on the inside. So I moved the jacket slightly so we could see the left hand side warming pad a little bit better. And then plugged in the DeWalt battery instead of the Milwaukee. So we could see that. You can pretty much, it's red and you can see the high spots pretty much the same as they were before. And then again, the right hand side of the jacket. Not bad, it, and this is again a great little heat zone. It does not have pocket warmers. That is the one thing on this jacket that I could really get into was just turning on some pocket warmers to put your hands in and that would help out slightly at this period of time. Sizing on this jacket is absolutely perfect. About 6'3", 6'4". I got a pretty decent wingspan here and plenty of room for this to come down, cover everything. I think it's perfect. This is an extra large. It, it fits nice. It's not bulky. It's not too short. Everything kind of just comes into place. That's something that I really get into with this because sometimes we can have trouble with sizing short arms or stretchy feeling. And that's one thing I like about this when I'm sitting in a stand or anything. If I have to move around with this, the jacket flexes and stretches with me. And even if I pick up an arm, you know, it's not just coming up and everything. Love that. The hood on it, I do not use, but with that being said, you could. It would be not be an issue. To me, it'd have to zip it up all the way and I'd be covering my microphone. It doesn't come around as much as I like. But for some people who don't want any vision blocked, I mean, that's a big thing with some people. They want to be able to use their eyes to move around. This thing for me with my head size is perfect as it wouldn't come around and block any vision. I, again, in this type of season, use my lighter and uh, scent locked version of this hoodie to kind of keep things in. Everybody's got their own thing. So when you're looking at this jacket, it's pretty nice, priced anywhere between $159 and $209. Look for the sales. It's gonna come with a battery and a 
adapter so you can use it with this jacket. With that said, if you are in the Milwaukee M12 line, go this way. It, there is a huge difference in size and comfort. If you are in a tree stand with this, it's no big deal. It's just like throwing this in your front pocket. It just gives you a, it feels like a baseball is sitting there. And it is not like it's a big deal. It's just something else that's there. One of the things I don't know if you could do, because I haven't tried it, would be to take a DeWalt 12 volt battery. And I think you can do the same thing and get in here. Maybe, I don't know if you'll be able to slide it in here, but you can get an adapter for a 12 volt. If you could, that would be a game changer in here because then you could run a five amp hour 12 volt or even drop down to the normal 1P 12 volt. And it would be very similar, if not better, than the Milwaukee. So why this isn't a 12 volt jacket is beyond me. I think it would fit in here better. And the runtime on it is not horrible. Runtime on high, if you were to use this two amp hour uh, DeWalt is going to be around two to two and a half hours. Runtime on low is gonna be almost all day. So there's a, a great variation here. If you use the different M12 battery, runtime is dang near identical, maybe down a couple minutes, 10 minutes most, but that's it. So great jacket if you are a hunter. So check the link in the description. I'll also link to this Origin stuff, buy made in the USA stuff. This Origin stuff is pretty good. They have a lot of nano wool out there. Probably should just do a video on that because I absolutely love that stuff. Thank you for any comments that you leave below. Give us a like of this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.